I'm an architect, and I, I kind of look at things a little different. As an architect, you uh, tend to deal with big picture items as, and minutia all at the same time. And when I became mayor of Swarthmore, uh, I found out that this kind of skill set was worked really well in, in politics too, because all politics are local, no matter where they are across the district. It's really about the effect that, uh, that the government has on, on people. And I see that every day as a mayor. I get to talk to, I know there's a thing, people think Swarthmore is so snooty or a, or a uh, um, you know, an, just an upper class uh, uh, a white town, but that's really not true. I mean, there's a broad mix of people and uh, Republicans and Democrats and wealthy and poor and our black population could be larger, but we do have a black population. And, uh, uh, and they're all people that come and talk to me even though I have a full-time job, which I do at the same time as being uh, uh, being the mayor. So constituent service is is usually important. And I got involved in this race really because of Leanne kruger Radicke, who is my rep. And Leanne, I think, sets the model for constituent services in terms of how she deals with people. She's the person who got labor on board for Democrats, really, in the last uh, go away. And she's... Uh, uh, like I said, she's my mentor and the reason I'm, I'm running. So I'm going to make that work. Tim Carney, two minutes. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Indivisibles. Indivisibles, when they were all formed in, the, in those dark years in late uh, 2016, was kind of like a, a ray of hope. And I say that as someone who's been involved in democratic politics for a long time. Uh, I first started knocking doors for Allison Schwartz back in 1990 uh, when I lived in, in Mount Airy before I moved out to, uh, to Swarthmore. Once in Swarthmore, I got to know someone named Colleen Guiney, who kind of, uh, as you might, those of you who might know her, she kind of tends to reel people in and kind of get people <laughs> involved and, uh, and make things happen. But in making things happen, they do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm from Swarthmore. Swarthmore is kind of a, a a bit of an island in the middle of Delaware County in that we're 85% Democratic, uh, which is different than almost anywhere else. Um, but, you know, when I ran for mayor, a lot of those Republicans voted for me too because they knew that with my background and my experience and what I could bring to the job, that was something that was going to, that could help. As an architect, you, you look at things differently. As I said earlier, you have to know the big picture and the minutia all at the same time. You also have to know who to listen to and who to take advice from. Uh, nobody builds a building by themselves. A building is a, is a large thing. And one of the things I found at being mayor is that the same skill set that allows you to get a $20 million science building built is pretty much the same kind of skill set that, that allows you to actually get legislation done. It's the getting along with people on an intimate level, being able to, uh, you know, being able to find ways of moving forward and making stuff. It's not all about fighting necessarily, all the time. but. There are obviously issues that I'm definitely going to fight for when I get to Harrisburg. <laughs> Sensible gun control. Uh, I think Bonnie talked about my education uh, uh, issues earlier. Um, did you? Um, isn't she great, by the way? That's, uh, uh, that's, uh, so, um, there really is, we have a big decision to make in the 26th district in, uh, in three weeks. And that's really going to be who's the best candidate to beat Tom McGarrigal in the in the fall as we move forward. And I think my experience makes that me. So thank you very much.